Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today I got a treat for you guys. We have a sponsored video, guys. This video is sponsored by Higer. This company builds a wide array of things for your aquariums, for your fish, from heaters, lights, decor, whatever you think can think of, they have it, guys. It's so easy to navigate on the online. And guess what else? They also have most of their products at Amazon. What more could you ask for? So down below, I'm gonna put in the description their Amazon link. When you tap on that link, you will get a discount, guys. So this video is going to be sponsored with this heater right here. This is a HG925, guys. I have heaters in all my aquariums. I'm sure some of you can relate, unless you're heating your fish room, that's, that's amazing. But for some of us, we're still using heaters. And guess what? I have turtles, I have large fish, I have predator fish. With that being said, what is one of the main things that you're concerned about when, when it comes to these heaters? Breaking, shorting out, things like that, right? So with this heater right here, boom! This one right here has this casing that will prevent your heater from breaking, guys. So I have this big 12-inch Florida soft shell turtle over here can't destroy this heater right here. I got these very large, extra large, aggressive, destructive fish. They can't break this one, guys. So, one of the other benefits of this heater, aside from it being almost indestructible, it has this stat right here. So this stat will not only tell you what the temperature is, which is also amazing, you can't beat that, but it, puts, it also has a probe in the water. That's how it tells you what temperature it is. Also, it makes it so easy because it has this little indicator light letting you know when it's running, when it's not, things like that. So you can't beat this. I'm putting this one right here as a 300 watt. The 300 watt goes from a 30 gallon all the way to a 60 gallon. So I'm putting it into my saltwater aquarium. They have the 500 watts, guys. That goes up to 120 gallon aquariums. So whatever you're looking for, they have it. They make it so simple again. I'll show you exactly how we can navigate through this. So, what are you waiting on? You need to get over there, get to Higer, and get your heater. Click that link down below. Get on over there, don't stop wasting any time, and go buy that heater. And if you don't want the heater, like I said, they have lights, they have a lot of different things for you to look at, decide on what you wanna buy. So don't waste my time, don't waste your time, don't waste their time, get on over there, buy it. And again, thank you Heiger for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go. Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So we're back at Aquatic Collection, guys. I was just here the other day, and they got some for us. So uh, I'm going to do another little tour for you. But we're going to see what else they got. I know what I want to come here and grab, but you never know what they have. So it's time for me to show you what I seen the other day. And hopefully we still got some other things I could uh, surprise you with. Let's check it out. You got to stay out the way. That's what you got to do, babe. You got to stay out the way. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, man? How you doing? So this time we're going to veer off to the right right here. I never, showed, I never showed you this before. So when you come in here, right off to the right, they have all these different aquascaping materials for you. We got Dragonstone. We got some, uh, some hardscape rock right here. We have some uh some textured rocks a pagoda right oh this is nice right here i like this oh that's really nice and i like this right here this one's really nice as well got the sand down below all your the heaters the medications all the stuff that you will need to help with your tank and i gotta grab some uh, i need to grab some calcium <clears throat> yeah i got a few things i gotta grab over here too I'm going to grab that on the way out. But look, different color hoses over here for you. Test kits. Look at all this stuff. 
so much stuff. Skimmers up here. This is what I'm talking about. Little nano skimmer right here. Oh, I might need this, guys. This is a one fifty. That's a good price. It's a really good price. Hang on the backs. Oh. Yep. One ten. Eighty five bucks. I might buy that one too. So look. I definitely got to grab something from here for sure. Quiet flow Aquion skimmers. I mean, Aquion um, hang on the back filters right here. So, from what I'm seeing, they have some of the best prices around for a lot of these different things. RLDI system down there. I should have bought mine from there. Cartridges circulation pumps right here oh yeah oh yeah have some tanks for you I know you didn't come here for this though but let's get over here and check out the fish let's see what these magna flows are looking like for us pricing mm. good price good price good price I might grab this one right here definitely need that for my uh for my 240 it's only uh, 67 dollars yeah they killing the game guys they killing the game so this is when this is where I'm going to do my talk over guys because uh, they're playing some music in there we don't want to get demonetized so I will do my talk over starting from this point all right, guys, when you first walk in, as always, we're greeted by this display tank right here. Pretty cool decal and back aquatic collection. But this tank has all the expensive fish in it, guys, from the Achilles tank to the blotched Antheus to that beautiful yellowtail trigger right there to the very large tank. This tank is a magnificent showpiece. And, um,. I have nothing but good things to say about this. Look at how clear everything is. Beautiful marine betta. I love how all the rock work is open like that. So you see all the negatives and the positives uh, when, you, when it comes to the scape. So make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. Over here, we have more beautiful fish. That little blue face angel is probably about like three inches. Absolutely stunning. We have a bunch of little butterfly tanks, Antheus in here. Um, I really like how clean their tanks look. They may be small, but the fish are very healthy and they always have something exotic in here for us. This tank right here, I like the little, little uh, puffer down there. It was pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what kind of tank that is right there, but um, yeah, moving on up to the top. Got a couple of clowns, have a rasp right here. Beautiful, nice coloration on it. More of the, what's over here? More of the clownfish right here to the left of us. I really like those. Really enjoy like the mocha storms and things like that. All the different clownfish. Got some more clowns. Got some Bangai Cardinals right here. Got this other fish right there. I don't know what kind of fish that is. It's very hard to do a talk over, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Because when you're there, you know, you're looking at the signs. You're looking at the names. And it makes a lot more sense. But doing it like this, it's hard to remember everything that was said. But again, they, play, they were playing music. So we don't want to get demonetized. So it is what it is. And those are the Mocha Storm Clownfish I was talking about right there. Really, really dope. In the future, we will definitely get a pair of those. 100%. Have to. Those are some of the best looking clownfish I think they have out. And these guys right here at $85 per. So I think it's very, very affordable. $170. Bucks. I paid $150 for my pair. So $20 more to have some beautiful clownfish like that. Yep, coming soon. Believe that.
I like how they have the little PVC tunnels and everything too for their um, for their fish. I think that's pretty cool. Look at that anemone right there. A big old, it looks like a red carpet. I believe that's a red carpet anemone. Whatever, whatever the name of that one is, it is freaking massive, guys. Huge. I don't know who's going to have... <laughs> I don't know who's gonna buy that or what size tank they're gonna put that in, but I hope they um I hope they're prepared. I would love to have seen somebody come in here and say, hey, I want this, I want this anemone right here. Just that's almost like a showpiece in a tank. If you have a large tank and you put that dead smack in the center, or but you know they move around. But if you throw that in the tank, that's gonna be practically the showpiece of the whole tank. That would be a beautiful tank with just a big anemone like that and a bunch of clownfish. They have another wide array of enemies over here as well. But none like the other one. Some green bubble tips. They look pretty cool, not going to lie. But after just seeing that big massive one, I think these are a, a sad comparison. In this place, they have so many corals, guys. You really got to get over here if you're close to the Hayward area. You will not regret it. As you can see, they have so many different fish, so much coral. They have prices ranging. They have such an amazing collection. I see why they call it Aquatic Collection. You know, they almost could be called Exotic Collection, to be honest with you, because they have so many exotic things. They have fish here that I've never seen before, and I'm always in awe every time I come back and I see what they have, because again, they always have something that I've never seen before. They are quickly becoming one of my favorite fish aquariums to buy my stuff from in the bay, period. The blue light makes it very hard to see how beautiful some of these corals are, being that, you know, I'm using my phone to record. But, um... There we go. You can see it a little bit better like that. But trust me when I tell you this. The colorations on these corals, stunning. Absolutely phenomenal. I love the, the corals that move, you know, has a little bit of flow with it. The torches, the hammers, the frog spine. I love those types of corals. And what is this little guy? See, something else that I've never seen before. Cool looking little guy. Bunch of Zoa, some Akans, the frog spines, things like that. I'm not well versed in all the corals. I still have a lot to learn about them, but I am learning quickly. Mainly the ones that I'm actually interested in. The ones that I haven't purchased yet and don't own. Those are a little bit um, elusive. Can't wait to add in all my corals to like a bigger aquarium. Look at all of those. And look at the prices. Look at the prices on these things. So affordable. But the corals turn your saltwater game into the, like the next level in my opinion guys you go from having just a fish only tank and you know if you have fish with beautiful colors great but when you start adding in the corals and everything and and you see how the fish interact with the corals it's crazy guys it's absolutely crazy i love that butterfly that's a big butterfly right there I mean, big cell fin. Sorry, guys. Big cell fin. Another baby, it's a baby, baby magnificent fox face rabbit fish. Killy, look at that gem tang. Maybe I'll get one of those one of these days. Just maybe. Look at that. That is a V. That is a V. Uh, v tail grouper. Got the golden nuggets, clownfish. Get over here and look at some more of these corals. Those are clams right there, guys. 
my girl or my girl is absolutely infatuated by the clams. We just don't have a tank big enough for the clams, so we don't have a clam yet. But once we um, upgrade our our um, reef tank to a bigger tank, she don't know this yet unless she watches this video. But we're gonna get her a clam for sure. I can't lie, they are nice. And look at this big puffer. This right here is a blue puffer, the guinea fowl. He believe it or not, he was only two hundred and fifty dollars, guys. Very affordable, look very healthy. Just didn't want him because he's too big. He's not as big as Hollywood was, but I don't want to really just buy another huge puffer. I have the small stars and stripes. He's probably about like four inches. I'm happy with that. but a beautiful puffer nonetheless. I'm not quite sure where they got him down here in that sump, but that's where he's living at for now. I noticed they put a lot of different fish down there. When I bought my shark, my shark was in the sump. Last time I was here, they had a stingray in the sump. So um, it's not uncommon for them to actually have the fish down there in that sump for whatever reason. Maybe because they need a big tank for him, you know, and um, you know, there, there's a, it's a scarcity for big tanks at this aquarium. 180 bucks for all those beautiful corals. Crazy. 250 for these over here. The torches. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Well worth it. Well, very well worth it. These are awesome. I love these corals right here. I don't know if those are brain corals or mushrooms, but they are stunning. And then again, the scorpion fish. 300 bucks for this guy. Until I've come here and seen this scorpion fish a couple weeks ago, I've never even heard of a scorpion fish. Didn't know they existed. But now I know. Now I know what they are. And look at that, look at the little lionfish and then that shrimp back there. Beautiful. Or I think it might have been a purple lobster. Sorry about that. It wasn't a shrimp. Look at those torches. Oh man. Beautiful, beautiful. I do want a torch one of these days. And I don't want the, the cheap one either. I want the ones that's like purple and orange, not just the typical green ones or um, something that everybody has. When, if I'm going to have a torch, I definitely want it to be a little exotic. I like those mushrooms right there. They have multiple heads on it, $180. I bought a one-head mushroom like that. I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Still think it was very worth it. I can't wait till it starts spreading heads like that. Big old little hermit crabs right here. If I had space, I would definitely get one. No doubt, 100% I would get one. What else, what else do they have for us? Look at all those butterflies. Emperor Angel. Let's see, got the Hippo Tang. Another Tang, Powder Blue Tang. Bunch of little Antheas, Butterfly. This guy right here, um, is, I think he's $1,500. Never even seen a Tang like that. Oh, I mean, a golden back trigger. My bad. At least I had the price right. Again, like I said, not knowing the, not knowing what type of fish it is, seeing it for the first time, and then not also being able to hear what I said initially. But yeah, golden back trigger, fifteen hundred bucks. That's a cool looking. Uh, it's I think it's a bud perp. No, it's a spiny perp puffer. Ah, it's a spiny puffer. Yeah, they also have a. Burr puffer, and I thought that was it. They look pretty similar. 
I'm sure I'm going to show you what the what the burr puffer looks like. Yeah. That's a nice course. Look at that. So that course right there, that clown course with the two orange spots on it. I have one. And mine is like two inches. Like this guy was at least seven eight inches guys i could not believe it I, just, I i wanted it i really did because i feel like i'm gonna wait a long time to see my little two inch clown chorus get to this size i just didn't um have space for him i don't know i didn't know if he would be if he would make it in the 225 although the one that i have will go to the 225 um but didn't really want to have two of them but I kind of regret not getting this guy. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not buying him. But um, I wish I would have. I really do. Because once they once they start transforming colors, it just changed drastically. Like you wouldn't even believe what it looks like when it gets full grown. Matter of fact, I'll add a picture um, to this so you can see what this guy looks like when he's full grown. It's crazy. But that's exactly what mine looked like. Just again, it's a lot, lot smaller. I'm sure if they have it again, when I go back, I'm going to buy it. I have patience, but I don't know how long I'd have to wait for it to get to that size. And I really bought this fish because I wanted to see it in my tank full grown once it transforms like man like it loses all the all the white it loses the orange and it's and it's like a like a blue and black it's crazy absolutely crazy and they get like a nuchal hump on their head they don't even have a hump whatsoever right now but yeah you'll see you've seen from the image so moving on Looking at the fresh water now. They got some fresh water for us, guys. Um, I like the angelfish. When we move, I think I might, I might get an angelfish tank. But uh, they also have some feather fin Cynodonis catfish in there. And they're for a perfect price. Believe it or not, they're 3 for $12. Crazy, right? I have never seen those kind of deals for freshwater fish. But they have them here at Aquatic Collection, guys. Come on by. Got the little betas right here. Also down below, they have some buddy with some more zebra tilapias. They got some more zebra tilapias. I like that. They also have um, the Salvanai cichlid. I had one of those. I like those as well. But um, I'm thinking I'm going to grab one more of these zebra tilapias the one i have right now currently is pretty large but uh i like them so much that i might get me another one small one back over here to the salt of course look at that transformation same one clown chorus you see how it's losing the orange spots and then look at this this blue box fish right here crazy crazy I've never seen anything like that. First time ever seeing them. And this is a pair. That um the blue one was the male. I mean the blue one was actually the female correction. The blue one was the female. And then the male is the spotted one right there. But it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. What these guys look like. I wanted those too. I did. There's they had a whole bunch of different fish that I've never seen that I wanted. But couldn't afford to get it at the time didn't have nowhere to put it so they had to stay in the store look at this african cichlid tank Beautiful. you know what i mean i just don't want it to have it again tank crystal clear danny o's and the Absolutely. price is right it's only 21 bucks like i said all of their tanks look very healthy fish look happy and that's what you want to see when you go to these pet stores you want to see healthy tanks that way you feel you at least know that when you buy a fish, you have a better chance of not buying something that's sick. I'm not saying that a fish still can't get stressed right, out or anything like that. But when you go in there and the 
tanks look like this. Like, this work it takes time and energy to keep your tanks looking like that. Especially when you have so many fish in these small tanks. No more. But they're doing it, and they're doing it. And then there. also, when you can. So that's one of the main reasons why I have no problem with vouching for it. You know, as you, right. as you can see, I'm always here. I'm always buying stuff. I got a starry stuff. night in here, and too. And there's a reason for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here all the time spending my money on fish if I was getting sick fish. That's if the, uh, I Madagascar. Trust them, period. I wouldn't even make a video. I wouldn't even be talking about it. But look at this stuff right here. We got some, we got some live rock. We got some dry rock right here purple already beautiful big pieces look at papa right there another display tank in the back a tiny display tank that is very hard to do like a five gallon if not a two and a half but this little red sea display tank is absolutely beautiful i'm not really a fan of a much hard coral but this tank is beautiful guys i love the negatives that it show more hardscape materials and then here we go another one in the back so many different corals in here crazy like i said this is not easy to accomplish at all this is a lot of work and energy that's going into keeping this tank looking this marvelous gave me some beautiful ideas i like how they have the coral on the back wall back there that's something that I think I want to do in the future that's stunning it's like a purple and a, and a red looks like a mushroom and then over here on this side guys we have a bunch of cheaper corals you know one head um, polyps um, all the way up to three and four heads so the price is like from 15 to $65 on the end. So this is where if you're just getting started with your corals, you might want to start off buying corals like that, you know, so you're not spending a ton of money just for them to melt away and die off and things like that. So start off with some smart, start off with some smart, um, cheaper corals. You know, and once you get more experience, once you get a better understanding, then you could go ahead and and, uh, and spend a little bit more money on your corals. But I definitely wouldn't recommend going out and buying a hundred dollar head, two hundred dollar head Zoa or one one polyp, one head for like a couple hundred bucks because it's so beautiful, and then all of a sudden, you know, it dies off. Like that's gonna hurt a little bit. So, you know, I like to buy. The cheaper ones for now um, I'm getting a little bit more experience so I, I would buy a, at least you know more expensive corals I would spend you know a couple hundred bucks on a coral that's no problem but I still wouldn't do a single head for a couple hundred dollars it's just that's that's not that's not where I'm at with it yet that's not where my experience level is to be honest with you and that's a big part you want to be honest with yourself you want to make sure that you um, aren't just blowing money. You want to make sure that you're keeping this hobby. There go Papa. He's like, I'm ready to go, guys. But he's so happy. I love little man. But yeah, so stay within your within your limits. Don't push them, and uh, you'll do fine. Right. Yeah, that's, that? yeah, that's it. Right. Credit, debit. Um, debit. next time. So as you just seen, we bought 
a whole bunch from over here, guys. We spent the nice little, little pretty penny, but it's all good. We got a lot of different fish. We got some corals and uh, we happy y'all. So I hope that you were able to see some things that you haven't seen before. They had some exotic fish here, y'all. Um, that guinea fowl on the bottom, the blue box fish. I mean, this place is dope. This now has become one of my favorite spots in the Bay Area, period. You know, the dude, as you can see, he's real cool. Uh, no hassle, they don't bother you. They let you do your thing, all the stuff. I don't have nothing to say negative about this spot. So all I can tell you is that, come on by, come on by. Don't, don't lag, don't hold, don't wait any longer. Come on by, check them out and uh, let them know the Cleveland sent you. So let's get to the house and get these fish acclimated. And you know what we gotta do from there. All right guys, so we are back at the house. I'm doing another talk over because for some reason the audio was out during this whole portion of this video. So it might seem like I'm, I'm a little off and that's the reason why. So I'm not going to show you me acclimating the fish and putting them into their tanks, but I will show you what we have. So first we got this very, very big blue line trigger right here. This is a female, beautiful colors on that fish. We've tried having a couple of those in the past that we didn't have any success, but um, I think we're good now. That guy is a beast. Well, she's a beast right there. 150 bucks for her. Obviously, she has to get quarantined, and um, we'll do that. But she's going to obviously ultimately go into that 225 right here. We have a few more fish. Next, we have, uh, what's this? This one is also a Titan Trigger. Looks a little different than Titus. Um, I don't know if this is a female. I don't know if it's just because it's very small. But um, the fact that it looks so different, I wanted to grab this Titan Trigger as well. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So happy they had this guy. Or this gal, whichever one it is. I know looking online, they sometimes say that uh, the Titan trigger looks like the pineapple trigger. I disagree. And then here we are with three of those, like I told you, the Cynodonis um, feather fin, Cynodonis catfish. Three for 12. Couldn't beat that, guys. Amazing price for these fish. Very happy that we decided to go to this aquarium. Very happy that I was able to take a look and see that they had them. On the freshwater side because i rarely look over there but looking over there i definitely came across some nice treats as you can see those three fish are going to go into the 125 with the blue background and then i'm going to bring that marble car over to this 240 right here because the marble car gets pretty big so has to go into this 240 and it's about long overdue i've been wanting to get it over there anyway so perfect timing next we got some more coral this is a hammer coral frag a little bit bigger than the one that we already have and then this one is I forgot the name of it but it's nice it's very very nice and then check it out another coral my, my girl called this one, she, she said it reminded her of a giraffe because in the store it was yellow with brown spots. So it reminded her, so it reminded her of a giraffe. Nonetheless, she really wanted it, so we got it. So I think that's it, guys. We, uh... We're going to end this video, wrap it up right here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for um, sticking with me. Um, follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page, Fish Corner. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And, uh, and until next time, guys, peace.